Today we'll look into the health UI of our minions. Having the tower damage the ally minion when shooting a projectile, destroying the minion game object when the health reaches zero. If you guys just want the project, you can go to my Patreon and get it there alongside the two MOBA series project files. I'd like to first thank my Patreon supporters, Jason, Long, Mohammed, Lan, and Nicholas. With that being said, let's dive right into the video. Looking at our startup scene, we'll go to the minion and you'll notice that there's a stat script as well as a health UI script. This is similar to the MOBA character setup we had with the previous series. I also have a world space canvas and a slider game object. With the slider game object, I've attached a billboard canvas script. This makes the slider constantly look towards the camera. Going to our enemy tower, we'll pretty much just add the same thing. A stat script, health UI script, and the canvas with the slider game object. The first script we'll be looking at is the health UI script. Make sure you're using unityengine.ui at the top. We'll have a public slider called health slider 3D. All you need is a public void start 3D slider, which will store a float called max value. We'll also have an update 3D slider, which will store a float called value. In both methods, we'll just make sure that the slider of our canvas is equal to the value of our health, so we can see when the minion's getting damaged. These methods will be the ones we will call at the start and when we want to update it. For the billboard canvas script, we'll just have a transform called camera transform. And in the start method, we'll be setting that to the camera.main.transform. We'll also be using a late update method instead of a normal one, and it'll just do a transform.look at to where the camera is positioned times the vector3.forward. We'll also do the same for the rotation, instead times that with vector3.up. This is the stat script. We'll have a public float called health, a public float damage, a public float damage lip duration, private floats for the current health and target health, a private coroutine called damage coroutine, and a health UI script reference named health UI. In the awake method, we're just setting the current health and target health to the health and calling the function we made earlier in the health UI script. We have a public void called take damage which will store a game object named target and a float called damage amount. What it's doing here is getting the target stat script and getting the health variable in that and minusing it based on the enemy damage stat. We'll also be checking if the tag ally minion and its health is less than or equal to zero, we'll destroy it. If not, we'll just lerp its health. This is done by the start lerp health which just calls the IA numerator lerp health. In here, it gives an effect on taking damage and having our health deplete over an X amount of seconds. It's not necessary, but it just makes it look more clean and easier to see. We'll then call an update health UI method. And in this void, it's just going to get the health UI 3D slider and storing the current health. The last thing we need to do is update our project script. We'll add a private stats called tower stats or turret stats. And in the start method, we'll be getting those stats based off the turret tag in the scene. Going down to the hit target and on collision enter methods, before we just destroyed the game object. But now we can take the target stat script of the selected ally minion, call the take damage function, which will then have the ally minion lose health. In the end, we'll also destroy the projectile game object once it comes contact with the targeted ally minion. Back in Unity, add the values you want for your minion stats. Also make sure you drag the correct slider and health UI slot. Now do the same for the enemy tower stat script. When I press play, You'll be able to see that the turret will target and shoot projectile that will damage an ally minion. It will then locate the nearest minion and attack that one until it gets destroyed. Once again, it will repeat the process until there are no minions in sight. In the next video, we'll be doing the opposite, where the ally minions will attack the turret. But that is all for this video. If you do want the project, you can get it by subscribing to my Patreon down below along with the rest of the MOBA project files. If you have any questions or suggestions or just want to join my community, my Discord will be down in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!